Our next presenter may not need an introduction, but I'll introduce him anyway. This is Jeff Duncan. He is a longtime sports columnist for the Times-Picayune, NOLA.com. Uh, worked a few years for The Athletic as well. If you're a sports fan in New Orleans, you have surely read Jeff Duncan, heard him on the radio, um, maybe heard too much of him. I don't know. It's, it, J Jeff's also written three books on the Saints. His latest is called Peyton and Breeze, The Men Who Built the Greatest Offense in NFL History. And so here is the greatest presenter in history on the point spread and over-unders, Jeff Duncan. Thanks, everybody, for coming out tonight. A great crowd. Hopefully get to mingle later. We can spend a little time talking Saints or ask Rod all the Saints questions uh, or the Pelicans. Actually, ask him all the Pelicans questions. All right, I want to talk to you about a little more sophisticated betting, something called the point spread. If you get bored with the money line, you want to get a little more nuanced. We're going to talk about the point spreads because if you were just to bet on who would win the game, I think most sports betting would be pretty boring. You know, it's much more fun if you get a little more sophisticated by using the point spread. For instance, everyone knew that Alabama was going to beat LSU last week. Now, it was much closer than everybody thought, but for the most part, it wasn't too hard to pick that game. Uh, and you also know probably in a couple weeks, LSU is probably going to crush UL Monroe. Uh, so the, the, the books in Vegas, everyone has kind of come up with a, a way to make it a little more interesting. They use what is called the point spread on a game. And I'm sure most of you that bet a lot understand what the point spread is. But for those that don't, I'm going to explain it to you right here. It's called the spread. It's the most common way to bet on many sports, especially football and basketball, the two main sports in the country. Here's how the spread works. If you bet on the favorite, they have to win by a certain number of points in order for you to cash your bet. If you bet on the underdog, you can cash the bet if they win the game or if they win by a certain number of points. The number of points in question is called the point spread. Just like with the money line, you'll see the favorite listed uh, with a minus sign and the underdog with a plus sign. But instead of odds, the number listed, the spread, for tonight's game, for instance, the Baltimore Ravens, are eight and a half point favorites. They started out as six and a half point favorites. It's gone all the way up to eight and a half. That means if you want to bet on the Baltimore Ravens, you will literally subtract eight and a half points from whatever their final score is. If they still have a higher score, you win the bet. If not, unfortunately, you lose. The underdog will be listed with a plus sign and the spread. So the Dolphins are listed as plus eight and a half. If this is your bet, you can add eight and a half points to the final score to see if you won the bet. If the teams are considered even, that means there's no spread at all. You probably heard of this. It's called a pick 'em game. It means either side is the same chances to win the game. Alternatively, if you don't have a strong feeling for who will win the game, but you think you know, maybe might know how the game's going to be played, what kind of what kind of style the game's going to be, if it's going to be high scoring or low scoring, you can bet on what's called an over under. This is a bet on the total number of points or goals or runs, depending on what sport you're talking about, that are scored in that particular contest. For instance, the over-under for the Saints-Titans games this Sunday is 44 and a half points. Uh, this is also, the, the over-under is also called the total. You might hear somebody refer to the game as the, what's the total on the game. So if you think the game's going to be high scoring, say, 38 to 34, if you think Trevor... Uh, Simeon and Taysom Hill are going to light it up and they're going to move up and down the field. You bet the over 44 and a half. If you predict a defensive battle, you think it's going to be a slugfest, low scoring, you take the under. Both the spread and the over under can change throughout the week. So if you see a bet at a certain number that you really like, don't wait because it can change like it already has on this game. Uh, take advantage of it when you see the number you want. The odds on a spread bet or an over under are typically close to even. What I mean by that is most commonly it's minus 110 on each side. So again, you need to bet $110 to win 100, or also known as a Benjamin. Thank you. 